Hello and welcome to part 3 of my Dark Rising Pokemon, Dark Rising Nuzlocke. I suppose I should say Pokemon just in case you don't know what this is and you can't read the title and I don't know why I need to say Pokemon. Waffle, 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 blah, blah, blah. Let's take care of some quick business from the last episode. In the comment section I had it requested to make this series twice a week because it's being very much enjoyed. And to that I say no! No, I don't say no. Uh, I wouldn't address it on a video just to shoot it down. Uh, not yet is the answer. However, uh, after we get through the rest of August, I, I know for a fact one of my other series is due to end. Uh, and it's twice a week. Uh, this series is due to end. Uh, it doesn't matter a lot of spoilers. Uh, you guys that follow the series will probably know I'm quite near the end anyway. Hitman. Uh, now there's two different series of Hitman. I want to point this out. There's Hitman and there's Hitman Game of the Year Edition. It's normal Hitman. Game of the Year Edition I don't think is quite as close to finishing, but I'm not sure uh, off the top of my head. But anyway, so Hitman, that's twice a week. It's on Saturdays and Wednesdays. Is going to be ending in August. So, no spoilers as such, just, uh, you know, within a month when it's going to be ending. Um, so, and that's on Saturdays and Wednesdays, like I say. That means that I will not have an upload on Wednesdays anymore, because it used to be Silver Nuzlocke and Hitman, and both will have finished. So, from September, Pokemon Dark Rising will be Mondays and Wednesdays. For the rest of August, just Mondays, just Pokemon Days. As, as always with the uh, Pokemon series, there's always at least an episode on a Monday. But then from September, it'll be on Wednesdays as well. So there'll be an episode on Monday the 3rd of September. And then there'll be one on Wednesday the 5th of September. So you've had plenty of warning, guys, to uh, arrange your lives around that, um, that development. Anyway, right. Oh, we should have a team recap from the last episode. Uh, we don't have much of a team, but we might as well go over them. Right, so we have our starter Pokemon, Felicity, the Dratini, who is level 13, pure dragon type, relaxed nature, whatever that means, I'm not good at natures. Has the shed skin ability, so basically each turn has a, is it 1 in 2 or 1 in 3, something like that, chance of curing itself of any status ailment it may have, so that's that's awesome. Uh, we currently have Rap, Lay, Swift, and Thunder Wave. And we also have Donald, the Blitzel. Who is level 7, a lax nature, again, whatever that means. Uh, has the ability Lightning Rod, so draws electrical moves, but is also immune to them. Um, I don't know if you get a boost from Lightning Rod. But either way, you know, you, you're immune to them, so great switching. We're currently rocking out with just Quick Attack and Tail Whip uh, on Donald. We've only just caught him. In fact, to that end, let me try and get Donald caught up. I feel like he could actually be quite a valuable member of the old team Aruni. Right, um, so we caught Donald out here on Duba Road, Duba Road, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we need to go get some more encounters. We need to try and build up our team a little bit before trying to tackle the game. So we won't be avoiding wild encounters. Um, like any wild encounters we will be fighting. Oh hey, oh hey, Blazer, you were hit pretty hit. You were pretty hit badly by that Pokemon. I searched the Pokemon in Google by their parents. What? Have you got some sort of sponsorship? Why are you not using Bing or Yahoo? Or, oh yeah, because they're all rubbish. Uh, by their parents, I was able to identify the Pokemon. What kind of Pokemon was it? It was a Tornadus, a strong Pokemon. It said it on the top of the screen. Why did I ask it? I literally know it was a Tornadus. Even if I'd never played Pokemon before, I know that that was a Tornadus because it says it on the screen. A strong Pokemon that controls the wind. That really makes it strong, huh? I'm going to defeat that Pokemon someday. Yeah. Goals. Actually, you know what? I just had a thought. Donald hasn't been trained at all yet. So. Let's switch Felicity to the front, shall we? Uh, for catching Pokemon. Because Donald's probably either the same level or maybe even lower than the wild Pokemon in here. So... If there's any wild Pokemon at all. Aha! Got one. Drillbur! Level 8, see? Donald, level 7. Drillbur, level 8. Uh, that's a ground type, so I can't even paralyze it. Is it part steel? Mudslap. 
Is that going to lower my speed or my accuracy? I can't remember. Accuracy, damn it. Oh, well, I'm using Swift, so it's fine. Oh, it's not part steel. Okay, so we can hit it once. Terrific. Let's try and catch Zilber then. Didn't we catch a Zilber on the first attempt at Dark Rising? I think we might have. Well, we've caught one this time anyway. Wonderful. Zilber's data was added to Perkidex. Can dig through the ground at 30 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour. Do you want to give a nickname to the captured Drillber? What a mistake to Mecca. I don't have the uh, comment section open because I have suggestions for, for nicknames and what have you. Let me load this up. Load this up. I am logged in on the wrong YouTube and everything. All sorts of shenanigans. Uh, how do I just get to my... There we go. I need to get to my comment section as quickly as possible, please. Oh. Brilliant. I love how stuff moves on a website when you're about to click it. That's amazing. Alright. Comments. Get all my comments. Let's have a look. What? What should we... Uh, okay. Okay. We're going to... Oh, hang on. I'm not even on the screen. Um, do you know what? Dog coffee. You're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, two reasons. One, this Pokemon's female, so I'm going to choose someone female's nickname suggestion. And two, your nickname suggestion doesn't really suit Drilba, so stick with it. Stick with it. I'm not sure that this suits uh, Drilba any better, but... This is what's happening. And I, you know what? I'm not even going to explain it. This is just going to be Drilba's uh, nickname. It's McBiscuit. McBiscuit the Drilba. No explanation necessary. Okay, right. So let's uh, find some more Pokemon to capture, shall we? What a great idea, Ebazer. I know. It didn't really hurt uh, to tune it too much. Uh, you know what? Do you know what? Why even risk it? Why even risk it? I know you guys will get to hate this. I'm sure you will. But. Unless you've beaten Dark Rising under Nuzlocke rules. Um, we can fast forward through this a little bit. We will get the experience though. Nice. Yeah, if you've Nuzlocke Dark Rising and you've not potion spammed. I mean, at this point, you can't anyway. We're going to speed up the trip home, actually. Since it's just healing. Um, yeah, unless you've done it and you've not potion spammed and you've not grinded up to a ridiculous level and all that jargon, then uh, don't even don't even at me, bro. Like, not interested. Not interested. Right, we're about back where we want to be. So, yeah, we're going through here. Good news! Blitz must have driven the disaster Pokemon away because the rain stopped. Who's Blitz? Who's Blitz? Are we, supposed to, are we supposed to know that name? Right, anyway, so there's a trainer there. However, there's some grass here. The first priority is going to be capturing ourselves a Pokemon. We definitely want to build our team up as much as possible in today's episode. And that, that is a C dot. Do you know what, Dog Coffee? You asked for this. <laughs> you asked for this. Uh, let's paralyze this. It's level, it's level 11. My god, the level jumps are just ridiculous. Ah. Um, I can't really get away with leaving it loads, though. I'm just going to burn through its turns by wasting thunder waves, I think. Uh, I can't leave it, because then when I do hit it, it'll just die. Because um, I'll have lowered its defense loads. Right, we're good. I imagine that after two... It might have lived after two layers, because it, it'd be double, wouldn't it? Might have. No promises, though. Growth. Okay. Little scary, but you're in capture range now, so... So let's start throwing some Pokeballs. One of the hard things about this game to Nuzlocke as well is the number of routes there are before you can get to a Pokemart. So, 
you've got five Pokeballs to catch like... Well, there's been at least three, and I've got them so far. C dot. If it remains still, it becomes impossible to distinguish from real nuts. I think I can tell the difference. I'm not gonna lie. It delights in surprising foraging Pidgey. It's a mischievous little Pokemon. Right. Okay. So this is this is happening. This is happening. Thanks for the um, suggestion, Dog Coffee. We have spinach the C dot, and once again, I'm going healing. Better heal my C dot. Going healing. Don't at me, I don't care. Isn't that interesting? When I'm running, I can't really speed it up, but when I'm speeding up, I can run. Interesting how that works. Like, watch, if I'm running, I press speed up. Oh, it worked that time. Never mind. Never mind. Is it just running up and down? It's, yeah, it speeds up a little bit, but not loads. But if I'm... Okay, it's up and down versus left and right. Never mind. Right, anyway, anyway, yada yada yada. Let's go see if we can get any more encounters uh, further through Twist Woodlands. Looks like we have to fight you. Yep, we have to fight you. Okay, let's have a fight. Hey, I'm the best bug catcher around. Let's battle. Not going to bother giving every single trainer a voice, by the way, guys. I can barely remember main characters' voices. In fact, I really can't. Bug catcher Cordell. Sent out Katsuki. Um, yeah, I can barely remember, like, main characters' voices, so... Ain't nobody got time for trying to give everyone a different voice. That's just... That's just unnecessary stress. And strain. Stress. It's really stressful putting on fake voices in this computer game. First world problems. Let's use Caterpie. I reckon Blitzel. In fact, I reckon anyone on our team can have a crack at a Caterpie. Come on then, Donald. Let's go. Let's go. You've got to be better than a Caterpie, even if it's a level higher than you, right? got to be better than a Caterpie. And the best thing is, String Shot's going to do nothing in this battle. Okay, looks like we're winning that fight. Only just, but we're winning it. Unless it gets like Crit City, we're winning this fight. Slowly but surely. And then we're going back to heal, and you'll all leave me hate in the comments, I'm sure. Actually, we are kind of dominating this. I'm still going to go back because we're down into yellow, but I thought it was going to be closer than that by the end. It looked like it was going to be. Go on then, Donald. Look at that. Look at all that tasty experience. Om nom 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 nom. Away we go. <laughs> right. Uh, this way. And this way. Just walk through the grass because that makes it less likely someone's going to pop out. Apparently. I believe it. I, I believe it. I, I believe there's logic behind that. And running was introduced in third gen when the games were sophisticated enough to have something like that. Um, I'm not sure about like first gen using the bike making it more likely for Pokemon to appear. I don't think I've ever heard that uh, So, you know, because like I said, they weren't that sophisticated the first gen games uh, So yeah, but I can believe that of third gen. I believe third gen was capable of something like that. Oh, same school Right You know what since we're going after trainers uh, Ooh. No, I'm, I'm going to lead with my strongest just because I know what this game's like. Oh, it's a bug catcher. Oh, you just turned this way now, do you? You weren't facing this way a second ago. You know what? Got him. Oh, really? I was just trying to turn to face him, so when he was looking at... When he turned to look at me, I was just, like, staring at him. Like, psyching him out. Okay, Venipede. Venipede killed at least one of my Pokemon in the previous version. With damn poison sting. Getting all these damn poison hacks. Oh, I'm gonna it's a wild Pokemon. I can, I can speed up. There it is. There it is. Wonderful. I was just about to say, and now do I do this battle or do I run back? But uh, I'm lost in this place. Where's the exit? It's like literally straight down from here. It's not that difficult, mate. It's not that difficult. It depends which exit you're after, to be fair. But an exit is straight down from there. Venipede. Okay. So, can we get a bit of luck? Oh, hang on. I shouldn't be speeding this up. Can I get a bit of luck with the shed skin, please? A little bit of luck with the shed skin would be great. Yes! Look at that! Asking ye shall receive! Arceus is smiling down on me because, you know, Arceus is actually keeping an eye on me in this game. That's, that's like what the game's about. 
me helping Arceus, so it's obviously watching me especially. Yes! Sit down, Venipede. Very nice. We're going to be way over leveled with Felicity, but... I don't really want to risk anyone against the Venipede. Oh! Oh! I think Rap's going. Although, is there any point in having Lay without... Oh no, there's no uh, split, is there? So it'll still power up Swift, I think. Yeah, Rap's going. Rap's going. There we go. Speed that up a little bit. That's a slow process. I'll have to use another Venipede. You know what? No, I'm not I'm not risking anyone else. Because uh, Felicity has um, Shed Skin, also has the most HP. I also gonna kill it the fastest, so the less chance of being poisoned. Right, we just need to not miss now, so I don't know if Dragon Breath has 100 percent accuracy, but I know what Swift's accuracy is. It's better than 100 percent well, in Gen 1, it's better than 100% anyway. Well, it's better than 100% now, because even if you've had your accuracy lowered, it's like infinite percent. It cannot miss. I lost because I kept thinking about the exit. <laughs> I should have had your eyes on the prize, my boy. Right, okay, we're out. Go in healing. Oh, didn't want to step in that grass. And now we're home free. Beautiful. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, I started episode 5, if I remember rightly, of the last episode. Still in the hometown. So don't expect massively quick progression uh, in this one. Like, because it ain't, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. It's not a quick progression kind of game. Well, I hate, hate to disappoint you, but it really ain't that kind of game. It's the kind of game you take your time with and make sure you don't get mollywhopped. We've still got to take on the teacher in there, but when I think I'm making my last trip back, I'll probably do that, just because I'm going past that all the time. I might as well be a slightly higher level when I take her on, because she's a bit tricky. Right, you know what? To save us on trips back, I'm going to have a principle where I'm allowed to avoid fights with venipedes. Nothing else, but venipedes I'm allowed to avoid fighting. Ah, oh, Cacnea! I wouldn't mind with a Cacnea. Nice! Sit right down. Don't know if that crit mattered, it might have done. Might have lived on like one without the crit. Hey! Oh, are you a mandatory fight? Don't look like she's spinning, does it? Right, oh, oh god. Okay, spinner rack might be a problem, but it hasn't proven itself to be one yet, so it's poison sting. Okay, we're good, we're good. So, Spinarak is something we should probably run from, although now we might be killing him. Who knows? Come on then, love. Right, let's go. Oh, yuck! I got a boo-boo! Wow. Wow, I was expecting like a toddler trainer class. Saying a boo-boo. Last Marcy. Sent out Cottony. Okay, so we're leading with Felicity for safety. Uh, I know people are like, you're gonna be overleveled, but... There's no such thing. This is honestly, there's no such thing. Ah, no! Right, come on, Shedskin. Come on, Shedskin. Should, should I try and get Shedskin to... To activate? I don't know what Cartney can really do to me. It's fully paralyzed. Come on, this is perfect for Shedskin. No, okay. Fully paralyzed, so it wouldn't have mattered what I picked there. Growth. Okay, it's setting up. Let's kill it. Let's kill that thing. We didn't get Shed Skin. It's okay. It's okay. Worst case scenario, we go back. Shroomish. Pure grass at this point. What have you got, Spinach? Oh, we've not looked at Spinach yet. We didn't look at um, Biscuit either. Ground type, Naive Nature. Uh, sand Veil. Nice. Got a Scratch, Rapid Spin, and Mud Slap. And then Spinach uh, is a Lax Nature. Uh, with chlorophyll, We've got a varied weather team. One like sand, one like sun. Um, bide, harden, and growth. No attacks yet. Could we use bide to beat this thing? What's it gonna have? I'm, I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna stay in. I'm not gonna risk it. 
Oh, wrong button. Okay, so I don't know if the last time the leech seeded. We could potentially have prevented that. Yeah, there's the shed skin. Very nice. Right, but leech seed is now a little bit of a problem. Are we first? We're first. Let's kill it. Oh, we don't. We've got tackle. It's level 11. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we're looking on uh, defense-wise for uh, spinach. But probably best that I did this with Felicity. Who's next? Let's see if we can use someone else. C dot. C dot versus C dot would be a never-ending battle. I can't do that. But it should only have. Oh, do you know? You know what? I'm gonna send Donald out, and then I'm gonna switch back out to Felicity. Unless this C dot's level 11 or below, and then I know it hasn't got an attack. Right? Okay, it hasn't got an attack. So I will attack it first. And if it uses bite, I'll tail with it. Oh, okay. When it uses bite, I'll, that's when I'll get my tail whips in. For now, I'll just whittle away at it, because this is going to be some good experience for Donald. I know this thing can't touch me. I know this can't touch me, so... Might be a bit slow and boring. Here we go, here's the bide. Right, so now we whip our tail back and forth. Whip our tail back and forth. Should get two in. Whips his tail back and forth. It whips his tail back and forth. And there it is. Isn't the Unleash Energy Turn priority these days? Hasn't that changed at some point? When did, when did that change? So it should be on minus one now, because it only used one harden, didn't it? And now I've used two tail whips, so it should be minus one. There we go, right, we're back to neutral defense now for this seed. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. It's nearly dead. Can't touch me, so it's just a long battle. It's not a dangerous battle. Do you know what? I can kill it now. I can kill it. It doesn't matter. Dead. There we go. Sit down. Can't touch this. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Ooh, charge. Ooh, look at that juicy experience. Pretty much a whole level. It was only just over halfway up from seven to eight. Now it's nearly halfway from eight to nine. My shin got cut from some sort of grass. You've got... Mm. She looks like she's got pretty hefty socks on, but okay. I'll take a look for it. Uh, Cacnea, level 13. Goodness gracious. Oh, we need to go back and heal. Look at, look at our health. That's gaining back way too much. I'm off. I'm off. We need to go back and heal. Oh. Shroomish. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna run just because we're in a bit of a. Uh... Oh, I'm not gonna run from that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the experience from that. There we go. Let's go. Let's go get our heal on. Let's go get our heal on. Cheers, mum. Oh. Right. So, yeah, I know that's the training school. We're nearly back at the position we were at. Sorry about the speed up, guys, but when we've walked the same when we walk the same route so many times, I kind of like to. You know, just glance over it, you know, use that speed up button. Nice! Oh, not nice. We still win this fight without losing too much, I think. Oh! Especially if we get a crit. Beautiful. Well done, Felicity. Level 16. Nice. If this were a normal starter, it would evolve. I think I'd actually prefer the normal starters to the three dragons. Like the first gen starters, or the second gen starters. I'm not that familiar with starters from third, fourth, fifth gen, so, you know, I know this is like Pokemon from up to at least fifth. Uh, should we take on one more bug catcher? Let's take on one more bug catcher. I caught a bug Pokemon that lives only around here. Is it Venipede you get? Garrett. Shelmet! Hmm. Hmm. Dragoon Breath. No. 
Acid arm that boosts your physical defense, and I'm pretty sure Dragon Breath is special in every generation. Because Dragon is special in the first three, and then after that, Dragon Breath sounds special. You're not making physical contact. Cover Blast. Uh, yeah, let's let's get a switch into Donald and then back out. Gotta get some training done. Gotta get some training done. Nope, that's your bag. Don't keep Pokemon in the bag. Alright, get back out of here, Felicity. Felicity. Yeah, good move. Even uh, switch training is like risky. Switch training against bug, bug catches is risky on this game. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh, that was nice damage. Oh, okay. In spam, are we? Well done. Well done. Was it worth it? Really, it can just hit like three injuries in a row. Is that not like protect where it gets like half as likely to happen? Right, there we go, finally. Like each successive time you use it, doesn't it get like half as likely to work? That was a pitiful experience. Hehehe, <laughs> isn't my Pokemon awesome? Nope. Nope, just got Molly Walks me. I should talk to all these trainers that I've beaten as well, just in case they have any particular insights. Uh, let's fight you as well. Let's fight you. I'm curious, how do you raise your Pokemon? Very, very carefully in this game, is the answer, love. Pokemon Breeder Bethany would like to battle. Ah, oh, Tangler. I know you can get Tangler in this area, because I failed to catch one. In the first attempt, the take one, if you like, a, a few years ago where I, I tried this game, I failed to catch one, and I, I feel like that strongly contributed to me not doing too well on it. Because Tangler's... Well, okay, it's physically tanky. I was just about to say it's tanky, and then I just, like, annihilated it with a dragon breath. But it's physically very tanky. If you know you're going against something physical, ain't nothing killing it. Especially not if you can get an Eevee like... Is Tangrowth in this game? I assume it is. And that means Eevee Light would affect Tangela, which would be great. Right, level 17 for Felicity. You raise your Pokemon with a whole lot of love, I would say care. But not in the sense of, oh, I care for them. In the sense of, oh my god, please don't kill my Pokemon. Right, you know what I should be doing? Like I said, I should be speaking to these people. I'm also curious about those two specific... Blah, 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 blah. Easy for me to say. Suspicious men near the entrance to Tiki Village. That is a lie! There's three! I know there's three. Spoiler alert. Sorry, guys. Some Pokemon only hang around in certain areas. Look for them carefully. Can't run a Nuzlocke. I can't, like, be picky about what I'm catching and stuff. Can we fight Shroomish? Probably. Probably. Oh, Leech Seed's an issue, though. Leech Seed's a bit of an issue. Two more Dragon Breaths should do it. Yeah. Oh, with Absorb as well, though. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. That's one Dragon Breath, I'm pretty sure. Running low on PP for it though. A little cut like that. Pachoo. Pachoo, pachoo! A little spit's enough to cure it. I, I don't even know what to say to that, honestly. No idea. I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting you. I've learnt my lesson from fighting these bug poison types. Where's the exit again? It's this way, you idiot. It's like straight down. Uh, did I ever speak to you again? I'll train my little bugs so they can evolve into something cool. Bug Pokemon evolve quickly, that's why I love them. Fair enough, at least you can like back it up with some sort of reason instead of just being like completely irrational about this stuff. Like, and it doesn't have to be a great reason, guys, by the way. It's, it's just like... Like, one of my favourite Pokemon is uh, Rockruff. And it's just because it's mega cute. That is a reason. It might not. You might not consider it a valid reason. You might prefer powerful Pokemon and not really care how cute they are. But me, I like Rockruff because it's cute. And that is a reason whether or not you agree with it. So, like, at least they have a reason. Uh, since he loves these Bug-type Pokemon so much, let me know in the comments what's your favourite Pokemon type out of the 18 types. What's your favourite? Uh, leave a like. We're going to end the episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now... All I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.